imagine Australia without her magnificent wilderness. World Heritage listed landscapes pushed to the brink. Unique ecologies crippled. This is no fantasy and it will be stark scientific reality if we don't act now. The enemy is BMAD, Bell Minor Associated Dieback. This is like a walking giant making its way across our country, leaving a trail of death and destruction through our forests. Bell Miners, known to many people as bellbirds. The sound of these small birds calling in the Australian bush brings back childhood memories for many of us. Unfortunately, these days, our native forests are under serious threat from Bell Miner associated dieback, an ecological imbalance so devastating the footprint is dramatic. All of the reasons for this dieback are still not fully known. However, we are on track to gaining a better understanding of this environmental menace. A pattern of cause and effect has been established and it has become obvious that when the natural structure of a forest is disturbed, a chain of abnormal events are set in motion. A disturbed forest is quite often left with an open canopy, a sparse or absent mid-storey and subsequently a well-lit dense understory. When the forest has susceptible tree species and the understory becomes dominated by a single plant species, such as the weed lantana, the stage is set for BMAD. Bill miners thrive in adversely affected environments like this. They actually nest in the thick understory like this lantana. Let me tell you what happens. Bell miners eat the sugary coating of the psyllid insect, which is found on eucalypt leaves, but they generally don't eat the psyllid itself. Due to the increased numbers of dominant bell miners in a disturbed forest, other bird species that do eat the psyllids have been forced to move on. The result is an overabundance of psyllids which suck the sap from the leaves. This causes the tree to repeatedly defoliate, which eventually kills the tree and ultimately the forest. <laughs>